Hello everyone. In today's lesson, we'll learn about the order of adjectives in English, but we will start with a brief introduction about some international organizations because they are related to our lesson uh, of uh, order of adjectives. Uh, please look at the logos and try to guess what the organizations are. And uh, the first one was founded in 1945 with the aim to intervene in conflicts between nations and thereby avoid war. A famous one, it is of course the, yes, the United Nations. The second one, the second one was established in 1995 in Morocco, in Marrakesh. This organization is a powerful new global commerce agency which uh, transformed the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade, the GATT, into uh, an enforceable global commerce code. So what is this uh, organization? Of course, it's written there, it's World Trade Organization. Yes, and trade means uh, buying and selling. It has to do with business. Number three. Organization uh, number three was founded in 1945 with the aim to fight against hunger. It helps developing countries and countries in transition, uh, modernize and improve agriculture, forestry and fisheries practices and ensure good nutrition for all. And its, uh, its motto is Fiat Panis and uh, in uh, Latin, it, fiat panis mean, means let there be bread. Yes, let there be bread. So the organization is, of course, the Food and Agricultural Organization. Food and Agriculture Organization. Uh, number four, the one in the middle, is uh, an international humanitarian movement whose stated mission is to protect human life and health without any discrimination based on nationality, race, religious beliefs, cl uh, class, or political opinion. It is? Yes, it is Red Cross or uh, Red Crescent as it is known in the Muslim world. And number five. Number five uh, is an organization that was created in December 1946 by the United Nations to look after or to take care of the needs of children and mothers in developing countries around the world. And uh, UNICEF. UNICEF stands for United Nations International Children Emergency Fund. Uh, number six. ISISCO. Number six was set up in Morocco, uh, Fez, in 1979 with the objective to strengthen and promote cooperation among Islamic countries. ISISCO stands for Islamic Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. And the last one, uh, number seven, uh, was established on the 7th of April 1948, and its objective is to is the attainment by all uh, peoples of uh, the highest possible level of health. It is uh, uh, you hear about it a lot these days uh, because of this uh, coronavirus. So it is the WHO, and WHO stands for World health organization good now what do the following acronyms stand for look at the first one you have uh, the logo with the uh, fao and fiat panis uh, and i said uh, fiat panis means let there be bread so it stands for food and agriculture organization opec the acronym OPEC stands for Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. And the UNESCO, UNESCO stands for United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. 
UN, the famous one, is United Nations, of course. UNICEF. UNICEF is also United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund. WHO stands for, yes, uh, World Health Organization. And WTO stands for, yes, World Trade Organization. Okay. Now, uh, look at these two organizations. Uh, the first one, United Nations Educational, Scientific and Agricultural Organization. And number two, World Health Organization. I want you to look at the underlined words and tell me what part of speech are the underlined words. And I mean by uh, part of speech is the category to which a word is uh, assigned in, in accordance with its syntactic function. And in English, the main parts of speech are noun, pronoun, adjective, determiner, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. So what part of speech uh, are these words? Educational, scientific, and cultural. Are they verbs? Of course not. Nouns? No, they're not nouns. Of course they are. They describe organization, so they are Yes, they are adjectives. And look at World Health Organization. So World Health and Health also describe the organization, although they are nouns. Sometimes we use a noun to describe another noun. In that case, the first noun acts as an adjective. So these are adjectives. As you know, a noun is a person or place or thing, and an adjective is a word that describes a noun. But sometimes we use a noun to describe another noun. In that case, the first noun acts as an adjective because, of course, it describes it. For example, World Health Organization, World Trade Organization, a math teacher, a love story, all the underlined words here are nouns, but they describe other nouns. So the underlined words here act as adjectives. In English, it is common to use more than one adjective before a noun. For example, he's a nice little kid. Here we have two adjectives. One, two. In the second one, she's a smart, young Moroccan woman. We have one, two, three adjectives. But, but, when you use more than one adjective, you have to be careful. You have to put them in the right order according to a type. Uh, adjectives have order in English and we don't use them arbitrarily uh, based on random choice or personal whim rather than uh, any reason or system. And this is the, the order that we have to use. We start with the number first, then opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, and then purpose. On your book, page 134, it says, uh, put each of the adjectives in the list in its appropriate place. It doesn't matter if you don't have your book in front of you because I have everything here. So look at the word beautiful. What type is it? Is it opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, or purpose? Of course, beautiful is opinion, yes. Then what about small? Small is, of course, size, yes. Old, yes, of course, age, how old are you? Uh, round, round is, of course, shape, yes. Black, black is a color. German, yes, for example, this thing is made, made in Germany, so it's uh, origin, yes. Wooden. Wooden is, of course, uh, wood. It comes from wood. It's made of wood. It's material, yes. Racing. 
this is a racing car meaning the purpose of uh, using i'm using this car for the purpose of racing so it's a purpose okay then what about cutting a cutting knife we use this knife to cut something so it's of course purpose efficient something efficient okay we are, we are give our opinion about it yellow yellow is a color sure human human is of course purpose crucial crucial you will use the you word crucial to give opinion yes uh, developing yes we use that for a, a developing purpose yes amazing when you say something is amazing you're giving your opinion yes enormous enormous big large it's yes size new something new has to do with its age yes ancient old it's yes age spying for the purpose of spying yes oval something oval has to do with its shape yes square square is also yes shape modern it's not uh, new uh, sorry it's not old it's modern so it has to do with age white of course color futile something futile when you say it's futile you give your opinion yes business for the purpose of business yes moroccan uh, of course uh, origin silken made of silk it's uh, material and when you say something is huge very big it has to do with the size yes and leather these shoes are made of leather this jacket is made of leather so that's material very good okay i know it's difficult to remember this uh, order but i'm going to give you a tip to uh, make it easier for you to remember this order and we call it a mnemonic what is a mnemonic so uh, mnemonic devices are techniques people can use to help them improve their ability to remember something uh, in other words it's a memory technique to help your brain better so uh, this is the uh, the tip just remember this nosash.com it looks like a url and the url means the address of a worldwide page nosash.com slash p remember this nosash.com slash p nosash.com slash p so n stands for number okay two three four five o stands for opinion good uh, beautiful smart uh, fantastic s stands for the size small big a stands for age modern old new and sh stands for shape square rectangular uh, oval and c stands for color yellow white green blue o stands for origin moroccan german spanish american m stands for material the material that it is, that it is made of so uh, for example silken woolen wooden etc and p stands for purpose okay for example one lovely small old round red russian woolen winter hat okay so but uh, we usually don't use these many adjectives in english we usually use a maximum of uh, three adjectives so this is just to uh, for you to remember which word which adjective to put to put first and which one to put second third etc okay let's do uh, a few exercises and in this exercise i'd like you to find the right order uh, it's on your book page 135 it doesn't matter if you don't have the book I have everything here for you the first one uh, interesting Spanish small book so we start with uh, of course opinion yes and then size and then origin so 
it's an interesting small Spanish book. Number two, old, ugly, rectangular, plastic table. We start with opinion, of course. Okay, so what is the opinion here? Yes, it's ugly. So it's an ugly, old age, rectangular shape, plastic material table. Now, a woolen, large and black jacket. So which one uh, should we start with? We don't have opinion here. So we start with large, the size, a large then color black woolen material jacket it's made of wool then beautiful modern small house we have opinion here which is beautiful yes so we start with beautiful opinion so a beautiful small modern house small that's size and modern that's age yes german thin strange lady so here do we have opinion yes we do we have strange so a strange thin german lady yes the last one cotton funny green do we have opinion here yes we do we have funny so a funny green cotton cap and i should remember uh, remind you sorry here that uh, we have to put uh, commas between adjectives when adjectives are coordinate and uh, I won't go into details in this but uh, coordinate adjectives if you put and in instead of a comma and still makes sense so that's a chord these are coordinate adjectives exercise 2 says choose the correct order Okay, so the first one says the woman is wearing a yellow long or long yellow dress. Which one is uh, correct? Of course, uh, long yellow dress, size, then color. Okay, what about number two? I'm going to wear my big cotton blue or blue big cotton or big blue cotton tie to the wedding okay which one is correct so big is size cotton is material and blue is color so we start of course with big big is the size and color then material number three my teacher is a tall thin or thin tall so as you know size comes first so size here is tall yes tall thin man number four the last one my neighbor's dog is a brown big german or big brown german or german big brown so brown is color big is size and german is origin so which one comes first of course yes size then color and then origin okay here is exercise three fill in the blanks with the right adjectives sentence uh, number one i have a four-sided old cheese grater look at the cheese grater it is four-sided it has four sides it is old and all these age so we need an an adjective that has to do with shape or color or origin or material something that comes after age so you can use for example or cited old uh, a color for example or origin or material metal for example material number two I bought a big bowl so big is has to do with size so in we need an adjective that has to do with age shape color origin or material so something that comes after size for example old age shape okay round color black 
etc. And you can have origin, Moroccan, material, wood, etc. So I bought a big round bowl. Yes. Number three, I was given a beautiful mug. So beautiful has to do with uh, opinion. So beautiful is opinion. So we need adjectives that uh, come after opinion. Size, age, shape, color, origin, material. So we can say, for example, big, red. So size and color. So I was given a beautiful big red mug. Look at this t-shirt. I'd like to buy a t-shirt. So here you need all the adjectives. No adjective is given to you. So just think about the, the order, opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, and material. So uh, the t-shirt is uh, blue, yes. So cheap, it looks cheap. It's blue and it's made of cotton. So I'd like to buy a cheap blue cotton t-shirt. Opinion, color, and material. What about this car? I'd like a... Yes, you need one, how many adjectives? One, two, three, four, five adjectives. So I'd like, a, for example, look at the color. The color is a purple. Yes, kind of purple. So I'd like a beautiful, large, modern, violet, purple, Italian car. Yes, so we have beautiful, which is opinion, large size, modern age, violet, color, and Italian origin. Good. Here's a homework for you. So in this homework, I'd like you to describe your dream car in uh, two sentences and use this structure. I'd like a car. I don't want a car. So you have here blanks for four adjectives, but uh, you can use a minimum of three adjectives. Good luck.